Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing makeup that makes me feel most beautiful. I was watching a couple of old videos this morning, uh, particularly my full face of Glossier when Future Do was released, and I was just watching that video and my skin was just looking so gorgeous, and I even made comment of it in the video about how I tend to wear a lot of full coverage makeup. Um, you know, I work at Ulta, and people are usually wanting foundations that are full coverage. I like to wear full coverage foundations so I can kind of show them what my preferences are and how it looks on the skin. But at the end of the day, I think personally, I do prefer makeup that is just more natural. I feel the best in a more natural, lightweight makeup look. So I just wanted to get on camera and kind of share with you guys the makeup look that I feel best in, that I feel most beautiful in. Along with this being a video about makeup that I feel most beautiful in, it's also going to be a video using no new products. There's a lot of new products out there right now. I feel like it's always good to go back to the basics, to go back to what I know works, what I know I love. I'm looking down at the collection of products that I brought for this video. I do have quite a few Glossier products. Before we get started, I do want to let you guys know I am a rep with Glossier, so if you would like to shop the link down below and get 10% off of any of the products that I am talking about in this video, and I do get the 10% that you save, I just wanted to share that with you guys before we get started because there does happen to be a lot of Glossier products in this little bunch. I'm first going in with the Glossier Future Do. I adore Future Do. It is a great base for makeup and it's also great to be worn on its own as well. Just in a couple of places on my face, I am going to go in with the Philosophy Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker Primer and this is their line correcting primer, but I am just going to focus it right here where I get my smile lines and underneath my eyes where I get some creasing a little bit. This isn't going to like prevent all of it from happening, but it's definitely going to create a nice base to kind of prolong non-creasing. I'm now going in with my Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint and this is in G7. G7 is my true winter shade. The stretch concealer is very, very light coverage, so I do use quite a bit of it, just dotting it all over my skin but I feel like you could probably do like three layers of the skin tint and it still would not feel like anything on the skin. It is so lightweight. It's almost like perfecting, but still looking exactly like your skin, just a little bit better. It's like a My Lips But Better lipstick, but for the face, like my skin, but better. Always like to apply a skin tint with a brush. I just find I get the most coverage that way. Not that I'm trying to turn the skin tint into something that it's not. It's not a full coverage product regardless, but I do like to use a brush just to give the skin tint the opportunity to give me a little bit more coverage. My favorite type of base is a light coverage base with a more full coverage concealer. My skin doesn't look so different, but it definitely looks a lot more evened out. Just naturally, like I have a more even complexion. I am going to go in with two types of concealers. I have my Glossier Stretch Concealer, and again, I do use G7 for this. And I also have my Stay Naked Concealer from Urban Decay. I typically would like my Naked Skin from Urban Decay, but she's no longer with us. I'm just going to take a couple of dots under my eyes with the Stay Naked and I'm going to take one like a dot on both sides of my nose and then a couple on my chin. The reasoning that I'm doing that is I do get quite a bit of redness around my nose, on my chin, and I do like a little bit more coverage underneath of my eyes. However, with my stretch concealer, I have a couple of blemishes around my skin. Um, for example, I have a couple of them on my cheeks and I always find that the stretch concealer just covers up blemishes so well. I have these two friends on my forehead, but they kind of just completely disappear with the stretch concealer and it doesn't look like I've applied any makeup on top of it. It's just 
gone. It, it is just completely gone. To apply my stretch concealer, I do use my It Cosmetics brush, the Airbrush Concealer Brush, and this is like my favorite way to apply any sort of potted concealer. And now I'm going to take my sponge and blend out my Stay Naked Concealer. All right, and that's the base. I just think that the base looks totally flawless, but so skin-like. When I look at my skin, it doesn't really even look detectable. So I just feel really amazing when I wear a base like this. For my bronzer, I am going in with my Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronzer. Someone commented on one of my videos recently um, confirming that the bronzer shade that I have in this is Mocha. I like could not for the life of me figure out what shade of the bronzer that I had in this. I'm really just a dummy. I could have just looked at my old video where I mentioned this bronzer, but for some reason I was under the impression that I never knew the name of it. Someone did confirm that I have the shade Mocha, so I'm using this bronzer in Mocha. This has got to be my all-time favorite stick bronzer. The reason why I'm using a stick bronzer is just to kind of keep my very natural skin base going. This stick bronzer just blends in the skin so good and just kind of like melts into the skin. It looks like one. For my blush, I'm sure that you could have seen this one coming, but I am going to be using my Glossier Cloud Paints. I always go back to these blush products. I think the thing about these is that one, it, it, they're just absolutely stunning on the skin. They last really long. They apply beautifully. They blend out really beautifully. I think their color selection is really nice. If you are interested in getting two colors, they do have that promotion where you buy two of them for 30 bucks. And I always recommend doing that so that you can kind of get three shades out of your duo because I always mix Storm and Dusk. But not only are they just a great cheek product, I almost find that when I'm applying it to the skin, it has like a blurring sensation on the cheeks, which is really good for me because personally I get the most texture on my cheek area. So when I apply my cloud paints to my cheek area, I feel like I'm almost blurring the skin a little bit in that area. By the way, I am using a new Real Techniques brush. You guys will be happy to know I've discovered a new favorite cream cheek brush. This is the Real Techniques Light Layer Blush Brush. This is a new addition to their line. I've been really interested in finding a replacement for my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush because I know a lot of you guys struggle to get your hands on it. And this brush is brand new. You can get it at Ulta, so there's no, like, journey you have to go on. You don't have to go on eBay to get the other brush now. And this one just applied everything really nicely. But yeah, I don't know. There's something about the cloud paints I always go back to. I always find them to be so beautiful. They always work for me. For my highlight, I am going to go in with this Honest Beauty highlight in Midnight Reflection. I love this sort of baked highlight formula. Essence has a really nice highlight kind of in this formula. It's fucking snowing. Anyway, I just find that a baked highlight is going to look most natural on me. I just think that this gives you a true glow, and I love that. For my brows, I am in desperate need of a brow wax. I find that if I fill my brows in, like, just the littlest bit of too much, I end up looking absolutely crazy. So I'm just taking a little bit of my Glossier Brow Flick. I just wiped off the tip so it's gonna work like brand new and I'm just taking that in like a couple of places in my brow where I need it and to kind of just fill in my brows further and set them I'm going to go in with my Glossier Boy Brow. My brows are just looking quite unruly right now so I really don't need to do that much with them. Typically I would 
take like a brow pencil and stuff and fill them in and then go in with this but I really only needed the littlest bit. I also like when some of my skin is peeking through a little bit from my brows when my brows are in desperate need of a brow wax uh, because it makes my brows look less crazy almost. So just the other day I refilmed my full face of Milk makeup and I discovered in my collection my love for the Milk makeup eye pigment specifically in the shade Gig but Gig is so beautiful all over the eyelid. It is a really great sort of one and done product. If you haven't already seen my full face of Milk makeup, I really, oh my god, it is really coming down. It is really coming down the snow. I really enjoy this product because of the long wear of it. It lasted all day, no budging, no smudging, no creasing. It was it was a miracle product in my opinion and it almost like stayed completely dry even though the rest of my skin got super duper oily. I am going to line my eyes just a little bit with a cream liner. I'm taking the shade Whiskey from Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 glide on eye pencil. I love the look of a smoky liner. I think it's, you know, much more wearable and a lot less intense than a liquid liner. It's also a lot easier to do. I am not very skilled in the liquid liner department. Not only am I not skilled, I also find that my eye shape is so different. Like, Whenever I blend out liner on this side, it goes nice and up, but whenever I blend out liner on this side, it goes down. I don't... someone explain that to me, please? But yeah, I'm just taking the liner, smudging it a little bit. Thankfully, my favorite concealer for the job is right here, my stretch concealer. I actually really prefer using my stretch concealer. Sometimes it's not always available, but I love using my stretch concealer to clean up my liner just because it's not super full coverage like it's got some good coverage to it but it's not super harsh I guess I meant to say I'm not like really making a big liner it's just gonna be like a little bit out there it's more to get some like smokiness on my actual lash line yeah I almost feel like once the cloud paints kind of set into my skin they just like continue getting better with wear it's like a fine wine on my cheeks I don't know, I'm the biggest cloud paint advocate. Like, I love them. For my mascara, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic. Ever since Sincerely Sarah Sue said that she used this, I bought it and I freaking love it. It's such a good mascara. It just defines every lash and extends it. It's super black, so it like really defines them. For my lips, I'm going to take a lip liner. This is probably my favorite lip liner of all time it is buxom's lip liner in hush hush that was a pretty bold claim of me to say uh, i obviously didn't think before i spoke because i definitely can think of like four other lip liners that i love just as much but i still love it i just wanted to let you guys know that i do have others and i don't think it's fair to them that i just said that it was my favorite um yes i do edit my videos laying flat with my laptop on my stomach and my my neck like this but sorry Thanks. sometimes I can't wear this in the summertime though when I'm a little bit too tan it looks a little bit too nude pink on me but it is like a perfect pinky brown nude on me currently And then I love pairing my Pinky Brown Nude lip liners with my Glossier Red Gloss. I just think that the color combination of the two end up looking really flattering. And I love Glossier Gloss, so. I am going to set my skin and I've been really enjoying the Undone Beauty Under Over Powder. But I am just going to dust that on my skin. I like to hit underneath of my cheeks and then I'm just going to press some underneath of my eyes. And then next I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I don't leave the house without using this. 
I definitely don't feel beautiful until I flatten out my baby hairs. The last step of my makeup routine always has me flattening out my baby hairs. So this is the finished look. I just feel really good. I feel really beautiful. I love the way that my skin looks and I love the way that my skin feels. It doesn't feel heavy at all. And I also know that when I check the mirror a few hours from now, I'm not going to look cakey. I'm not going to have makeup settling in. I'm not gonna have makeup kind of breaking apart because my base is so lightweight that there's not really makeup to do that with, you know? Even though my base is so lightweight, I think going in with more full coverage concealers definitely help create the illusion of flawless looking skin while still looking very skin-like, which is why I do prefer going in with a lighter coverage base and kind of spot concealing with a more full coverage concealer. But yeah, that's it from me. I know that this is a basic look. You've probably seen very similar looks like this on my channel. It's not a revolutionary look by any means, but a lot of these products are always products that I tend to go back to, products that I use on a daily basis, products that make me feel really good about myself. It would be really awesome for me to hear about what products make you guys feel good and what your go-to products are for feeling your best. So go ahead and comment any of those down below. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I see you next time.